everyone, so this is kind of a spur of the moment video. I've been wanting to do this for a while, but I just hadn't really gotten around to it and I kind of had like free time right now to do it. So I'm going to be going through this bookshelf and this is mostly like my overflow books, a lot of books I don't think I'm ever going to read. And I'm going to put them in a box right here. Because there's so many of them, it's kind of hard to like take them anywhere, but I'm going to figure out what to do with them after I put them in the box. Like we're going to figure it out. but. Uh, for right now, I want to just get them off my shelf so I have more room on this shelf back here because this bookshelf has more of like the books that I have read or that I absolutely know I'm going to read and I just need to have more room to, you know, do stuff because I feel like this is like so full and I just don't like it. So that's what we're going to do. And I'll talk about some of the books that I take off, but I'm not going to go through each one because that's going to take forever. And yeah, let's get right on into looking through this bookshelf. most of the books that I want off my shelf into the box. There's not very much room still, so I think I'm going to go through it one more time, but I'm also going to make either this box or this box my Shakespeare shelf, because I have so many just random Shakespeare books or plays, I guess, that are just lying around, you know. I'll show you all of them. So I have quite a few, and they're all just, you know, all over the place on my shelves and I really don't want them to be. I want them to be kind of more, you know, in one spot. So I have one of my copies of Hamlet. This is the Amazon edition that I got for Christmas. I have a copy of A Midsummer Night's Dream from the new Folger library. It has like the prettiest cover ever. Like, I love this so much. It makes me feel like some like middle-aged lady in like the 80s or something. It's just, it's great. And then I have Richard III, which I have all tabbed up. I love it. Richard III was the first one that I read in my Shakespeare class, and I actually really liked it. I have King Lear, which is kind of a crappy cover, but I haven't read it yet. I really need to read it. This is one of the ones I want to read this year. I want to get all of my unread Shakespeare plays read, at least the ones that I own. You know, and then I can, you know, go on to all the other Shakespeare plays I haven't read. Um, I have Julius Caesar, which I didn't like as much, but it is such a pretty color, like, oh, gorgeous. I didn't really tab it up very much. I kind of got bored. And then I have Othello, and this is the one that we didn't end up reading in my Shakespeare class because we took too long with Hamlet, and then we really wanted to do much ado about nothing because she wanted to end off on a high note. And so I have Othello. I'm going to read it this year. It's going to happen. I'm so excited. <laughs> And then I also have The Tempest, but I feel like I don't know where my copy of Much Ado About Nothing is. It's somewhere. Did I just not see it? It's orange, so maybe I didn't see it. I don't, I don't know where Much Ado About Nothing is. I just put it on the shelf. I'm like, where did it go? I honestly don't see it. Yeah. So I don't know where Much Ado About Nothing went. It didn't go in my box. It's not in there. So I don't know where it is. Oh, it's up there. <laughs> I also have my copies of Hamlet and Much Ado About Nothing up there. No! Oh no! I just dropped three dark crowns. Um, I'm going to see if I can get them. Oh. Where's that? Oh, there's that. So here's my copy of Much Ado About Nothing. I love it so much. It's not really tabbed at all, but it is stained with um, sweet and sour sauce from McDonald's because that exploded in my backpack. <laughs> and I also have it kind of annotated and stuff in there. But I do want to go over it in like pen and stuff to do annotate. I don't know. I'm going to reread this soon and then I'm going to do a video on it. It's going to be great. And then here's my copy of Hamlet. It is... Not very tabbed up, but it is kind of beat up a little bit. Like, the spine is cracked in so many places, but 
It's my favorite. I love it so much. It's literally, I have like paragraphs of writing in here. It is obviously my favorite play. I also got my tattoo, which I don't think you can see it. Oh, you're not, I, I will insert a clip of my tattoo, but basically, um, I don't know. Do you want me to talk about my tattoo? I don't really know. It's a Hamlet reference. It's a Ophelia reference. Ophelia's my favorite character in Hamlet. Love her. I don't want to spend too much time on that tattoo, but I love it. I'm like obsessed with my tattoo. I'm so excited I got it. I've been wanting this for months and yeah. Uh, if you want me to do a video on my tattoo and my experience and everything, I will do it. Just let me know. And yeah, so we're going to do probably this shelf as a Hamlet shelf. I mean Hamlet shelf. We're probably going to do this shelf as a Shakespeare shelf because that's kind of what I'm feeling right now. Um, and yeah, we're going to kind of go through it one more time to see if there are any more books I just do not need on my shelves. We'll grow in number, fueled by thunder, see the horizon, turn us to thousands. And we'll grow in number, fueled by thunder, see the horizon, turn us to thousands. It's kind of amazing how many books I had on this shelf, like, because everything fits on here. There's really not that much, like, room to put any more books, like, at least on this, like, one section, because I could totally fit more books on this part, but I don't really want to, at least on these two top shelves, because these are mostly books, A, that I really love and that, or that I want to read, so that's A and B, I guess. Um, I also have some Star Wars books up here, and then, well, Star Wars, Carrie Fisher, and then a Star Wars book. Um, then I have Little Women and Cinder, random books, then all of my Shakespeare's on this part. I can't think how many plays I have that I just didn't realize. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight plays, and I had no idea that I had that many. Technically I have nine, but I have two copies of Hamlet. Technically I have three copies of Hamlet, but I don't know where my other copy is. So, for the most part, all this stuff is, are books that I do plan on trying to get to this year. Um, just a lot of kind of random contemporary adult books that, I mean, who freaking knows if I'm going to get to these? I think I'm going to put this one away. This is Rules of Civility by Amor Tolls. These are all going to probably go in my garage because I think a lot of these books I do want to read at some point, but I'm just not going to get to them this time. Um, and I don't want to have a bunch of books on my shelf that like I don't think I'm ever going to get to. Or at least I don't think I'm going to get to in the next, like, year or so. Ow. I feel like I have a bruise on the back of my hand. Um, so yeah. I think most of this stuff is pretty much done. I do need to put some of the books that I have on this back shelf into this box as well. So I think we're going to do that also. <laughs> guys I wanted to let you all know that I've kind of been thinking about some of the books that I unhauled recently and those are these three books and then this one as well Empress of a Thousand Skies Ugh. I've been hearing some good things about this book and I'm just like I just don't know how I feel about it I'm starting to wonder if maybe I was a little too harsh but I'm just not sure it's still a book that I'm so on the fence about. I really, really liked it up until a certain point. And that kind of happened with this book as well, which is Red Queen by Victoria Aveyard. I was really digging it until I got to a certain point. And I'm just not sure if I want to continue on with that series because I don't know if I'm going to like the ship and that's bothering me. So I just don't know. But for the most part, I think I do want to give it another shot. Same with The Number in the Ashes. There's so many people that love it that I follow. And so I'm like, mm, maybe I should retry it. Maybe I should try it again. I don't know. We'll see. So I just want to let you guys know if you guys are like, what the heck are those books doing on her shelf? Because I thought she unhauled them. Um, guess what? I kind of might have changed my mind. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, so I think that this is how it's going to look. Okay, that A needs to go somewhere else. But for the most part, I'm pretty sure that this is how it's going to look. Sorry, that's so shaky. So there's a whole lot of room on that side, which is nice. 
And then I have some room on this side for all of my contemporaries. Like these are the only contemporaries. Well, not the only ones, but really like my favorite kind of contemporaries from why, you know, whatever. And then I have some up here. This one's pretty jam packed. Like I don't think that I probably should have overloaded this one, but we'll see. This one has some room because I'm reading a study in Charlotte right now, really enjoying it, really reading it pretty fast. So that's going to go kind of on this side right here. And then on this top shelf are all of my faves, like literally my like really like favorite, favorite books for the most part. Um, I put Carnival and Legendary up there because I do consider them kind of favorites, even though I like put, I think I gave Carval five, four stars, five stars. I honestly don't remember. I'm kind of starting to believe that I gave Carval five stars, but I can't remember. So yeah, this is what my shelf looks like currently. It might not always look like this, so I'll let you guys know when I change it. But for the most part, that's what it looks like. Also, this is the whole box of books that I just completely took off both of those shelves. So there are a lot of books in here and I'm gonna have to figure out where I can put them because I can't keep them in my room. They're just not gonna stay here. So I'm really glad and I really like how this all turned out. It just looks really, really good. Much nicer than it did before. I feel better. So I'm really excited. So that was the whole impromptu video. Uh, my makeup is so gross. My hair is disgusting. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you wanna hear more about my tattoo, which is right here, so pretty then let me know i can do a video on that or something a q a i don't know we'll figure it out and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys in my next one bye